Okay, so uh, what you can see in my screen that is spring mass model. Uh, so here one mass, um, block of mass M, which is attached uh, with a spring and a damper, and it is uh, on the roller or surface. Now this is a model actually, and as you know, uh, in uh, our structure, civil engineering structure, is made up of component like structural member and non-structural member. So structural member means beam, column, slab, okay? So all those things constitute the mass of the system, okay? And uh, the, uh, the, the, the contribution of the column and beam is to resist that vibration when there is a lateral load like earthquake. Okay, so when there is a lateral load like earthquake and the beam and column, the role of the beam and column is to resist that vertical movement, okay, that lateral movement of the column. Okay, so basically these structural member will, will be equivalent to a spring. Okay, these structural members uh, will be equivalent to a spring and these beam column will behave like a spring. That's why it is, uh, it is the, 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 the column and beam can be modeled as spring, okay? And as I have described, uh, explained, he, in every structure, there is inherent damping property, which try to resist that uh, motion, okay? So that's why the, the damping should be modeled. So, and the damping is modeled like this. So this is the symbol of the damping, damper and the constant that is equal to C, that is damping constant. And you know that the damping force, the damping force, which is, which is a resisting force that is proportional to the velocity of, of the body. So if this body moves with a velocity in the right side direction, then the damping force will be proportional to the velocity of this body. So damping force is equal to C into the velocity. So C is the damping constant. Okay. So I think it's clear. Is it? Yes, sir. So now, now, so, uh, so a structure can be modeled as a spring mass system. That's why this is, this is the model which will be used to understand the concept. Okay. In structural dynamics. So here, mass of the body, that is the structural mass, which is connected by some columns. So that's why there is a spring. And also it has some damping property. That's why the damper is present, represented here. Okay. And it is moving only in X direction. So it is a single degree of freedom system, right? So this is a single degree of freedom system where it is moving only in the X direction. So if we draw the free body diagram of this mass, so what will be that free body diagram? So if you draw the free body diagram, then uh, the spring will pull this body in the negative direction, in the left side direction, because it is the body is moving in the right side direction. Okay, so if it is free to move in the right side direction, so the spring will be trying to pull that uh, mass in the opposite direction. And the damping will resist that motion too. Okay, it, is, it will also resist the motion. And as it is uh, moving in the right side direction, it will be due to some forces. Okay, if it is due to some forces, so one force will be acting in the right side direction. That force is equal to uh, this, okay? Right side direction. Due to this force, it is moving in the right side direction. So when it is moving in the right side direction, then spring will pull that mass in the left side direction and damping will resist that motion in the left side direction. And also as there is a force, the force will try to introduce uh, acceleration in that body so it will be moving with acceleration in the right side direction. So the inertia force, inertia force will be moving in the, uh, will be acting in the negative direction, so opposite direction, right? Is it understood? Yes, sir. 
So four type of forces will be there. So now if we write the equilibrium equation, uh, that equation will be dynamic equilibrium equation and it is called the uh, Lambert principle. And here is the equation. So three forces in the negative direction and one force is in the right side direction. So all the negative, all the left side it is equal to all the right side. So if we take uh, consider that, so m x dot. What is m x dot? M x dot that is mass into acceleration. Okay, so mass into acceleration. Is it clear? M a. So a is denoted by dx dv by dt and the partial derivative of uh, or you can say derivative of uh, velocity with respect to time that is acceleration and that is denoted by a is equal to dv by dt where v is equal to dx by dt so d square x okay by d d square t right yes sir sir dt square dt square na mujhe nahi soch raha tha bahut din se likha nahi tha chalo so dt square so it is written like uh it is written like x double dot okay so this acceleration is basically x double dot so those who are new to this mathematics they should uh, note it down okay so uh, mx dot mx double dot in the negative direction plus these two forces along with this uh, uh, inertia force so this is uh, cx dot damping force is cx dot okay c into velocity and plus k into x so spring constant is k so if it, if the spring constant is k then you know the spring force is equal to k times the displacement okay k times the displacement so if the body displaces by x amount in the right side direction so the forces in the left side direction by the spring will be k into x okay so these three are the left side forces so it will be equal to right side force okay so now uh, i want to uh, also mention that what is what will be the k in case of it is a building in case if it, it, it is a column so in column you know if you have found the deflections okay by different methods uh, by um, momentary method by uh, iterative method you can find the deflection of member okay so if you find the deflection of the member then then f is equal to kx okay f is equal to kx so x is the displacement so you you know how to find the displacement so f by x that is equal to k okay the force for which there is a displacement that is equal to f so f is equal to kx so k is equal to f by k okay are you getting it Yes, sir. F is equal yes. to kx. So k is equal to f by x. So f is nothing but the force, and x is the displacement. So you know how to find the displacement by momentary method, conjugate method, and unit load method. All those methods are there to find the deflection. So in case of a beam or column, you can find the stiffness. Stiffness means this spring constant, right? so solution of this equation 3 gives the response of the mass to the applied force in the single degree of freedom system as this mass is moving in the x direction so it is a single degree of freedom system sdf system and if you so, so see you, you should notice it here that it is nothing but the second order differential equation right second order differential equation that is m d square x by dt square plus c into dx by dt plus kx is equal to f of t function it is a force which varies with time that's why it is a function f f is force 
that is function of time okay so that's why it is this so it is the differential equation so if you uh, if it is a differential equation then it, it has some solution and if you find the solution that will give you the response of the system okay that if you find the x that is you can write in you can get the distance how how much it will displace if it is a if it is a building, uh, essential building or commercial building then you can find the that the mass of the body or the concentrated mass of the body will move by this much amount so you can always find that okay now for the first case so first case if you don't understand then please raise this is the beginning that's why it will be easy if you don't understand and it will be easy and helpful for you if you uh, clarify your doubts in the beginning itself okay is there any doubt students no sir no sir okay acha one more thing i want to mention those students which are joining late okay it, it will be noted because uh, there is a features in zoom Uh, uh, where we can see how many uh, which students are attending for how much durations some students are there who attend the class just join the class and leave the class for 2 minute 3 minute okay so attendance i will not uh, take from now on so i will take that attendance where i can get the duration of uh, of your attendance so students please uh, be sincere i will not repeat this okay so free undamped vibration so after getting this equation after uh, getting this equation it is a generalized generalized equation of a single degree of freedom system uh, of a spring mass model now here we have to we have some cases um, there will be uh, two or three cases uh, where we have to find the solution of this differential equation like i have said uh, i have explained uh what is uh, free vibration here uh free vibration right you can see the word there is a free vibration force vibration okay this two type of vibration is there so if it is free vibration then what will be the equation what will be the solution if it is a force vibration then what will be the solution we have to see that now okay so let us move to the solution part so as you know if it is a pre vibration okay what i said in the pre vibration the vibration which is due to the due to uh, uh, some forces which is not there now okay or or you can say that the it is a vibration but there is no forces okay force is absent so if force is absent then you can say that this f of t will be equal to how much zero right yes sir yes sir okay and uh, it is also mentioned that free undamped vibration undamped means there will be no damping there will be no damping subsequently we will introduce the damping in the system okay so in the first case uh, to get uh, to learn uh, to get the concept so the first case is it, the vibration will be the free vibration that means no force and undamped vibration that means no damping right so force is equal to zero and c if there is no damping then damping constant is equal to c so vibration also zero vibration is not zero force is zero free vibration vibration ho raha hai but usme koi force act nahi kar kar raha hoga hai na there is no force okay okay sir uh okay so that's why uh, force is zero and c is also zero why c is zero undamped so damping nahi hai isme so damping nahi hoga to usme c equal to zero hoga theek hai now 
the equation becomes m x double dot plus c x dot is equal to zero, right? If you if you make it zero here in this equation, if you make it zero here and make it zero here, then these two part will vanish. So m x double dot plus c x c x dot is zero. Sorry, c uh, c x will be zero, not k x is equal to zero. Okay, this part will be zero. Okay, and this part will be equal to zero. So m x double dot plus k x is equal to zero. Right. So this is the equation you can see. This is the equation. So this is also a differential equation, second order differential equation. M m d square x by dt square plus k x is equal to zero. Okay. So uh, here you see if you divide it by m. Okay, x. Are you getting it? If we divide it, this equation by m. So in the first part, first term it will be x double dot plus k by m. Okay, k by m into x is equal to zero. Now k by m is uh, is denoted by p square. Okay, k by m is equal to p square. Have you understood this equation? Yes, sir. Okay, so everyone understood, no? Okay. Double dot plus p square x is equal to zero. So p square here is equal to k by m. So p is equal to root under k by m, where p is this. Now this type of equation is there in the mathematics. If you have uh, means if you have this syllabus of mathematics, okay, but uh, there you can get this equation because in, in engineering mathematics, this type of, this type of equation is there in the Palandas book. Is not it? So uh, the solution will be assumed with some unknown constant, and then the unknown constant will be found. And then we will get the exact solution. So let us assume that x is equal to a into e to the power lambda t. Let us assume that x is equal to a into e to the power lambda t. So it is the solution. Let us assume that. Okay. So this is d square x by dt square plus p square x is equal to zero. So in this type of equation, अगर तुम्हें याद आ रहा होगा तो तुम याद कर सकते हो कि ऐसे अगर equation होता है तो हम लोग इस तरह से solution assume करते हैं mathematics के हिसाब से अब mathematics तो मुझे उतना नहीं आता इतना चाहिए बस उतना उतना ही काफी है तो बस उतना ही आता है तो इसमें let us assume that कि x is equal to this अब ये मत पूछना कि ये ऐसा ही क्यों assume करेंगे अब दूसरा कुछ क्यों नहीं इसके लिए तो mathematics जानना होगा so okay so x is equal to this now if it is a solution then uh, let us find this x double dot from this assume, uh, assume solution so okay i have skipped that solution okay now let us do it from this equation Okay, you just take a copy and pen from this equation x is equal to a e to the power lambda t. Find x dot first. Find x dot. It will be very time is variable. Other things are constant. So it will be equal to a then lambda e to the power lambda t. Okay, x dot. Then x double dot will be how much? Lambda square. A lambda sorry lambda square e to the power lambda t. Okay, so x double dot is equal to lambda square x. Okay, right. X double dot is equal to lambda square x. Now 
now if you put this x double dot in this equation in this equation if you put it so put it here lambda square into x plus p square into x is equal to zero can i write that yes sir yes and take take uh, take uh, x common so x into x within x into within bracket lambda square plus p square is equal to zero right yes sir then as you want to find the value of x so x cannot be zero right अगर x जीरो होगा तो इसका सोल्यूशन ही कुछ नहीं होगा ये सब कुछ बेकार है है ना सो x कैन नॉट बी जीरो सो लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस पी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट सो इफ लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस पी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो टेक पी स्क्वायर इन द राइट साइड सो लैमडा स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी स्क्वायर Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Lambda yes, square is equal yes, to minus p square. So this is the equation. Ultimately, minus p square. You can write it like this: minus one into P square. So now lambda is equal to root under minus one into p square. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the root under minus one is how much? I O T A. i imaginary number okay and it is equal to p so plus minus ip okay yes everybody clear na yes sir yes sir so that's why the solution here it is uh Solution is this x uh, this so x is equal to plus minus i p plus minus i p that's why this now if it is a solution the now if we put it uh, here in this equation okay so what will be the equation then it will be x is equal to a e to the power I plus minus plus minus I P T, right? Yes. It is. It is the solution. Now, do you know how to expand this term when the term is e to the power I X plus minus I X? how to expand this do you know that so do constant leke fir ek mein plus ek mein minus leke fir usko cos aur sin ke terms mein nikalna padega waise hi isme same cheez karna hai ye mathematics hai pura you know imaginary number jo jo system wo chapter tha na mathematics mein 10 plus 2 mein so that's yes. aayega to ye hai uh, a1 uh, so there will be two term एक तो तुम्हारा प्लस के लिए आएगा एक दूसरा तो माइनस के लिए आएगा ए वन ई प्लस वाला लेके आई पी टी एंड देन प्लस ए टू माइनस वाला लेके माइनस आई पी टी ठीक है राइट ऊपर से कौन सा सर समझ नहीं आ रहा सर उतना समझ नहीं आ रहा है तुमको ये ये मालूम है कि टू दी पावर आई एक्स को कैसे लिखते हैं चलो 
So who is uh, who is having doubt? Me, sir. Name? <coughs> Devojit. Devojit. Madhumik, na ki uchh madhumik. Madhumik. Salati mustawa banawa. Okay, okay. Mathematics. Mathematics. What are you talking about? तब तुम्हें सुने रखो मुखस्त करो ना जाई करो तब तुम बोली अगर ये ऐसा रहता है जो लोग मैथमेटिक्स प्लस टेन प्लस प्लस से आ रहे हो उनके लिए इफ द इक्वेशन इज दिस e i x इट द पावर i x देन यू कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस कॉस x ओके कॉस x प्लस i साइन x ठीक है और अगर इसमें माइनस रहेगा तो माइनस आई साइन एक्स आएगा ठीक है माइनस आई साइन एक्स आएगा दिस आई इज नथिंग बट द इमेजिनरी किसको क्या बोलते हैं इस कांस्टेंट को सो आई द वैल्यू ऑफ आई इज इक्वल टू दिस माइन रूट अंडर माइनस वन ओके सो वैल्यू ऑफ आई इज इक्वल टू दिस so if it is it exponential and power um, power of this exponential is equal to i into x so we can expand so tum tod sakte ho is tarah se cos x plus i sin x okay now if it is minus i x it will be minus i x then it will be cos x minus i sin x okay now um, so the equal solution here solution here it is equal to x equal to a To the power plus minus i p t. Okay, so just now I have written na uh, x is equal to a e to the power plus and minus i p t. Okay, so we have two part of this solution. So for first part we will take consider the plus one. And the, for the second part, we consider the negative value. Okay, so for first part, the constant will be considered as a one. That generalized constant is a. So when we expand this, the for the first part, positive part, we assume the constant to be plus. Uh, sorry, a one. The for the other part, second part, we assume the constant to be a two. Okay, so a one, then e to the power i p t. Plus a two to the power minus i p t. Okay. Now a one into the solution is like this. Okay. If this way we expand it, we have cos p t plus i sin p t plus a two into cos p t minus i sin p t. Okay. So what is the calculation? Tell me. No, no. Hmm. Okay, this is k by m, nothing but the k by m. Now in the third equation, you write x double dot plus p square x, where p square is equal to k by m, and p so is equal. P actually is just a key. P is nothing but uh, this is so, called. Huh? So it is the stiffness by mass. So that means p is the value key. P is called rotational frequency. अच्छा मैंने ये टाइप मैंने एक टाइप कोई इक्वेशन ये टाइप एजम्पशन ना ये टाइप इक्वेशन but this is also assumption because we are converting this uh, k by m in terms of p square okay so we converting it in in terms of other uh, terms so देखो इसका मतलब ये है कि इसको हम लोग थोड़ा सा इजी वे में लिख 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 रहे हैं ना इसमें स्क्वायर लेके क्योंकि हमें पता होगा इसका सॉल्यूशन अल्टीमेटली लैम्डा स्क्वायर प्लस पी स्क्वायर आएगा तो इसीलिए इसको पी स्क्वायर लिया नहीं तो पी पी ले सकते हो कुछ भी ले सकते हो 
कोई दिक्कत नहीं है बट जैसे कि ये डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन का सॉल्यूशन इस तरह से आएगा कि लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो आएगा इसीलिए इसको स्क्वायर के टर्म में ले लिया एग्जाम में तो so, ऐसे बहुत सारा चीज आएगा जिसमें तुम ऐसा बोल सकते हो कि इट्स स्क्वायर क्यू नॉट वाई नॉट पी ओनली वाई नॉट एस वाई नॉट एक्स वाई जेड ओके बट बट इट इज अन्वेंशन एक्चुअली इट इज अन्वेंशन यू कैन टेक एनी थिंग बट अल्टीमेटली अल्टीमेटली यू हैव टू कॉल इट बाई द जनरल नेम ओके सपोज यू आर सेंग दैट इट इज वाई then uh, you have to call it that y is equal to root under k by m and y is equal to angular frequency but in most of the books in most of the cases in everywhere it is represented by p square so it is a generalized uh, uh, means solution okay so 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 come to this point x is equal to a1 e to the power this 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 then expand this like this equation okay then take cos pt in common and sin pt in common if you take cos pt in common in this in this second line then it will be cos pt into a1 plus a2 write it do it in your copy otherwise you will not understand from next class i will try to uh, uh, Try to go in the previous mode. I will uh, write in my uh, copy, and I will project that screen. So today you write it in your copy. Otherwise, you will not understand. Take cos pt common. Cos pt ko common le lo. So kya rahega? Is equation se a1 or idhar se a2 common rahega plus me. So cos pt into within bracket a1 plus a2. then then you 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 you, you consider uh, sin pt in common so it will be a1 into i minus a2 into i okay is it fine yes sir then you would consider a1 plus a2 is equal to c1 A one plus A two is equal to C one, and A one I minus A two I is equal to C two. You write it in your copy. I'm here to explain. Is it done? Yes, sir. Okay. So C one you got it, C two you got it. 
then as cos pt and sin pt are periodic functions so see this is the solution okay this is x so you have got this x is basically the displacement right he we, we have seen that this is a spring mass system this mass is moving in the right side direction now you see the equation of motion of this mass is this okay is this so equation of motion of the mass is this so here in this equation you have you have terms where it is cos pt and sin pt and now you know that cos pt and sin pt both are periodic function what is periodic function means it is uh, it will be it will be a repetitive motion okay so after some time interval it will be it will repeat like this so if it is a uh, okay let me try it. so so see the the cost function or sine function look like this so it is a sine function i am drawing it here okay like this it will be repeat it will be it will be repeating like this so uh, it is the value of x is nothing but the vertical axis okay so in the vertical axis it is a displacement so displacement will be constant here displacement will be, will be constant okay and here also it will be constant now the same type of motion is, will be repeat, will be repeated after some time so after suppose this is the displacement value so you see after same after some time interval this same uh, displacement will be there after again for that time for the time period the same motion will be repeating so each each cycle is a uh, uh, repetitive motion basically okay so that string mass model in that string mass model so mass of, uh, of that um, block or that block will move in this in this type of motion that means it will uh, it will be a repetitive motion jo bar bar repeat hota rahega to and fro to and fro to and fro aise karke so time after some time interval so um, after some time interval uh, same type ka motion isme repeat hota rahega aur jaise ki isme damping nahi hai मतलब वाइब्रेशन ऑसिलेशन में रहेगा थियोरेटिकल ओके क्योंकि इसमें डैम्पर नहीं है और रेजिस्टिंग कुछ नहीं है इट ओके यस सर यू कैन फाइंड यू कैन फाइंड अदर थिंग इज दैट कि इफ इट इज अ इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन आई विल बी डिलीटिंग दिस ओके दैट ड्राइंग if it is a uh, equation of motion hmm, uh, this is the equation of motion so if you want to know when this displacement will be zero so make this equation is equal to zero then find the time time at which the x will be zero if you can find the time required time to make x is equal to zero so you can say that that at that time particular time The displacement will be zero, and it will come to rest or uh, anything. But as you can see, this in this equation, this x in uh, is there, and it is comprising of sine function and cos function, and which is a periodic function. So it will be repeating for infinite time. Okay, and here uh, you know that. Uh, the time period of sin x or cos x cos function and sin function so time period kya hota hai 2 pi right yes sir so here cos theta means cos pt is there so if we want to find uh, the find that if we want to find the time period of uh, after which the uh, the motion will be repeated that time to find the time period uh, we just uh, make pt P into small t is equal to two pi. When it is 
it is about time period then you just convert small t into capital t is it okay yes sir yes so what so, is the difference so excuse sir time this small time small t means what is the general generalized time ki tumhe 2 second baad ka kya position hai displacement ka suppose you want to find the displacement after 2 second then you put t is equal to 2 second but when it is special name it is having a special name is time period that means suppose uska time period maan lo ki 5 second hai to usko hum log capital t se denote denote karte bas koi dikkat nahi hai hai na koi dikkat kuch nahi hai bas denote 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 karte hai bas uski tarah se we time period ko hamesha cos function jo sin function agar tum log study matlab kiye matlab 10 plus 2 mein kiye the to tumhe malum hoga ki time period ko hum log capital t se likhte hain so now in this uh, in this part we are focusing to find out the time period of that motion so to know that time period let us um, let us say that the time period is equal to capital t so p into capital t is equal to 2 pi because sin function and cos function ka time period 2 pi hota hai so cos ke andar jo bhi hoga sara ko mila ke wo 2 pi likhenge hai na so uh, pt p into capital t is equal to 2 pi so t is equal to 2 pi by p now you know that hello p p is equal to root under k by m right p is equal to root under k by m so it will be 2 pi into root under m by k where mass is uh, m is the mass of the spring uh, the, of the block system and k is the spring constant is it clear yes so please yes, digest sir. it please take 5 second to digest it okay so uh, so see if 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 you put the value of mass and spring constant for this for any or any particular system then you will get a value of time period t in second agar maan lo ki tumhe koi system hai vibration vibrating system hai uska mass malum hai aur spring constant you know that then if you put that mass and spring constant in this equation you can get the time period in second that means you can you can get the you can get the value of time where after that time period same type of motion will be repeated jaise maine dikhaya tha abhi sin curve draw karke hai na to usi tarah se hum log wo time period nikal sakte hain aur maan lo ki tumhe 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 chahiye ki after 10 second uska displacement kya hoga to tumhe ye small t ke jagah pe 10 second baithna hoga simple now frequency of vibration what is frequency what is frequency that means ki um in one second in one second how many cycle will be uh, occurring or repeat, will be repeated okay that is the frequency in one second how many cycle will be repeated so you know that time period is equal to this so in capital t time there is a one cycle okay in capital t second number of cycle is equal to 1 so in 1 second number of cycle is equal to 1 by capital t simple mathematics right frequency is equal to frequency means what frequency means ek second mein kitna vibration hoga kitna oscillation hoga hai na to frequency ka matlab ki ek second mein kitna vibration hoga तो हमें मालूम है कि टाइम पीरियड का वैल्यू यह है तो हम लोग ये बोल सकते हैं कि कैपिटल टी सेकंड में ये कैपिटल टी सेकंड जो है तो कैपिटल टी सेकंड में ऑक्सीलेशन होता है एक तो एक सेकंड में कितना होगा तो वन बाई टी होगा सिंपल तो दैट इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी तो एक सेकंड में कितना नंबर ऑफ साइकिल होगा उसको बोलते हैं फ्रीक्वेंसी तो फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ वाइब्रेशन इज इक्वल टू स्मॉल एफ इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टी सो वन बाई टी मीन्स you have value of value of t so you just put it here so it will be 1 by 2 pi root under k by m okay yes sir yes sir now when you multiply 2 pi with this frequency of vibration 
it will it will be a rotational case angular case so that is called angular frequency vibration so 1 by t into 2 pi so this is nothing but the angular frequency of vibration so 2 pi by t that means you know the value of t so you just put it you can get the value of small p and you know that the p is equal to nothing but put under k by m okay so this is angular frequency of vibration okay up to this is it is it digestible yes sir. yes sir so wo capital p or small p dono same hai kya kaun sa capital p dono yahan pe sab maine same p likha hai usme agar alag dikh raha hai to alag nahi hai sab kuch same hai p p sab kuch same hai so wo cos uh, small p t wala wo p aur ye jo uh, periodic Aha, time sab, sab sab same hai okay now in this equation you see x is equal to c1 cos pt plus c2 sin pt so c1 and c2 both are unknown constant c1 is equal to a1 plus a2 and c2 is equal to a1 i minus a2 i so we don't know the value of this constant c1 and c2 so we should know that otherwise we cannot find the value of x suppose Uh, in the question, it is asked that find the value of displacement after two seconds. So how can you find that? You know the time t, you know the mass, you know, you know the spring constant, but you know don't know the uh, small uh, capital C one and capital C two constant. So how can you find that? So the finding these constants is uh, is required. Okay. So to, so for that, so we need some boundary conditions. So at time t, suppose it is um, it is. Uh, uh, mentioned that uh, for uh, at time t equal to 0 in the initially the mass the mass is having a displacement of x0 hmm? and velocity is equal to x0 dot jo start mein ye jo spring mass model hai iska jo vibration ho raha tha jis time uh, matlab jab ye start experiment start hoga us time time equal to 0 hoga and x will be x0 dot and x dot is equal, velocity is equal to x0 uh, sorry displacement is equal to x0 and this velocity is equal to x0 dot okay so if you put it in this equation t is equal to 0 sir is ha huh? yes i am working kota shoma time holo to about of the time likhlo na 11:45 11:45 समय ताहोले स्टूडेंट्स अप टू दिस इज देयर एनी कंफ्यूजन यस सर यस व्हाट इज द कंफ्यूजन आई आस्क्ड अप टू दिस इज देयर इज देयर एनी कंफ्यूजन नो सर नो सर ओके सो नो सो आई विल एंड दिस क्लास एंड आई विल आई विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके Sir, you, you just go through the book also. Otherwise, you will not, uh, you will not, you, you cannot catch this concept because and uh, those who are from a ten, ten uh, class ten syllabus, syllabus background, they should, uh, uh, they should uh, understand the mathematics also. So I will suggest you to uh, take one mathematics book along with you, and you just uh, practice it. Sir, I have one question, sir. Yes. So, what is the difference between frequency and angular frequency? Frequency and angular frequency. Okay. Yes, frequency means the number of uh, same type of motion. Acha, do you know uh, the motion of pendulum? Yes, sir. Hmm. Ah, uh, okay. So, what is your name? Devojit, sir. देखो जी टेन टेन माध्यमिक और माध्यमिक उच्च माध्यमिक 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 
सुविधा क्वेश्चन ठीक है सर ओके ओके सर 